infrared thermometer I ordered and today I will deliver and I ordered it on 2nd of June let's unbox it what's inside Here is a manual, user manual, and let's get it reset. Here is the battery, and it is of 9 volt battery. Keep it reset. Nothing else, and here is your STC instrument certificate. Okay, now let's it's already in a cover it's made of some sort of fabric okay okay let's insert battery and check whether it's working or not There is a person don't target human or animal eyes. Okay, now let's install the battery. Now let's turn on this infrared thermometer. To turn on, you just only press or hold this trigger, and as you can see, that this display is glowing. And now let's take a look of this close look of this display. And just to scan, you need to hold just like this hold the trigger or tap the trigger as you can see that it's a ray okay and it is here is a scan button and also hold here it's hold when you are just holding this trigger and it will this whole button will just will not be there on the screen and it's showing the scan okay and also it's showing that celsius emissivity icon and its emissivity icon and then we are having here backlit or laser icon here it's showing the backlit or laser icon and then we are having that low battery indication also there will be here also if the battery is low as i have inserted the new battery that's why it's not showing and when the battery will get drained then it will show the low battery icon and here also showing that Fahrenheit or centigrade or you can change it into different mode okay Fahrenheit or Celsius okay by pressing up and down key and then it comes that it also shows the current temperature here it will be maximum temperature and current temperature will be shown here okay as I have just uh, triggered and it's showing the current temperature of that um, page and then here it will also show that maximum and minimum record value that is all you need to do that here it is minimum and you need to press again that set button and you will see that maximum temperature means ever since you have turned on and ever since you have measured temperature using this infrared thermometer you will be able to see the maximum and minimum temperature recorded in this infrared thermometer okay that's it and also here you will be able to see the maximum and minimum icon
I'm going to show you the operating instruction and operating steps. First one, hold the meter by its handle like this and grip, handle grip and point it toward the surface to be measured. Okay. And then number two, pull and hold the trigger to turn the meter on and scan icon will appear and begin testing. That you need to do this and scan icon will appear when you pull the trigger button then number three the surface temperature being tested will be displayed on the board on the LCD screen as you can see that this is the surface temperature of the, um, te temperature and it's being displayed on the LCD screen release the trigger and hold icon will appear and reading will be hold for several seconds as you can see that this hold icon is here and it is here I think you are not going to be here See this. Okay. Now, as you can see, that the whole icon, whole icon is here, and then the meter will automatically start off after 20 seconds. After 20 seconds, it will automatically get start off. Okay. Uh, now, as you can see, that after 20 seconds, it's automatically got, automatically gets got start off. Okay. Now, next. The, what are the measurement nodes you need to follow you need to follow if the meter used in an ambient temperature with wild temperature and change allow it at least 30 minutes to adjust um, to it and the laser is designed for aiming what for aiming only and it can be shut off while operating in short distance to save the battery okay and it will automatically get shut off and you must not use volatile liquids to clean the unit sweep it with dry cloths dry soft cloth just to clean you need to sweep it with dry cloth and do not disassemble the unit refer it by qualified personnel and do not immerse it in water do not store it in high temperature or humidity these are the maintenance you need to follow okay that's it guys and if you are going to purchase i hope this review will give enough information you need and if you like this video please thumbs up and if you do not like this video what you are you love you know what you love to do and please subscribe for more such videos.